Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, episode 62. Skulls. No, wait. This one's going to be called, We Interrupt This Broadcast for an Unexpected Phone Call. Going back here to Bill Foley. Got a phone call today, yo. Oh, yeah, you're, you know what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. Mask triggers music, too. It's getting ready to pop off, yo. German music village. What is it? German village music Haas. German village music Haas. Bill Foley. Let's do this thing. We're back here with Mr. Bill Foley for that Braveheart box build. He called me a little while ago. And now let's see the full reveal right here on camera. Uh, Wait, dude, that's not that's not that's not what, that's not what I wanted at all, bro. <laughs> Let me put some secret ingredients. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that, dude. That is, I don't even know what to say. That the guy. That is crazy, man. And amazing. That is just amazing. The laser is the beam is the width of a human hair so we can cut a photograph into a piece of wood so whatever kind of detail it's almost limitless and then we dial it all in dude Isn't that fun that is crazy oh my gosh you can't the camera does it okay i'm shooting this in pretty good resolution but yeah you really gotta see like you can like you can tell you can feel it yeah, you can feel it. Unlike uh, just a graphic, this is cut right into the wood. It's like a little three-dimensional kind of effect. Okay, man. I'm already thinking about now, where would I... I'm thinking about not putting a humbucker in it, because if you put a humbucker in this, you'd have to... You'd have to almost... Yeah, now, oh, what part of the art are we going to mess up to, I know, right. to build this? Because normally what I do is, it looks so good. I do mine all on the back, like this. I always have the hinges face towards me. And if I'm playing it this way, so what I might do is try to set up my bridge. Ugh, that's gonna be rough. Maybe put a piezo, not, maybe put a, maybe I will have to reverse it, I don't know. That's crazy, like you don't even wanna touch it now. Yeah, I know, it's like, uh, where are you gonna put anything? If I did a bridge, I'd put a piezo. While I'm here, and while Bill has a second, we're just trying to quickly lay out. If this represents my bridge, remember from your bridge to your nut is your scale length. So we're just trying to decide what would be too short of a length and what would be too long of a length. I'm gonna guess, let's shoot for a 23 inch scale. See how that, how that, what that looks like. That my next, that's gonna be too short. So let's go out to 24 and a half. That not might say do it. What about 25? Who's 25, Gibson? Uh, Paul, Reed, Paul Smith. Reed Smith. 25 and a half is the most common. 25 and a half looks like it would actually be, for me personally with this box, either 25 and a half or 24. 25 somewhere in that range is where I think it will look cool 24 and three quarter so yeah you had some room to play this and see this can scoot around as yep. long as you have a anchor back here and then the strings that was on my he told me to make a make a list so thumb wheel bridge was my first inclination even if I did it this way I could even frame I could do it here between the brave fart and his head do it here and like Bill's saying here is we're going to find a way to put the strings are what I've been doing is taking cabinet hinges and doing the three strings right here this might not be a four string now no and then I might not it, there's like a million different pickup options I'm definitely not going to put a humbucker in here and I'm not going to put a single coil maybe a piezo here underneath here or maybe I'll just leave it acoustic oh okay um Real quick, um, when I was here last, as you know, we're all building cigar box guitars and a lot of us are just guitar tinkers, modifiers, builders, because it's fun. 
But when I was here last, Bill mentioned that he was, I'm not sure if you were petitioning or how you're going to go about this, but explain what you meant by you were talking about having guitar building known as a science. Music instrument science. Music instrument science. Does that, does that exist right now? The word is out there. What we need is a university to set up a program, a four-year bachelor of science program in music instrument science, a branch of physics. My new book has the whole foundation, the layout for this. So the, the, ninth, the ninth edition? No, totally new book. Uh, uh, okay. New title. New title and everything, okay. New everything. So that was my Huge bad. reference work. Yeah, I, I definitely talked about this book right here. It's in the ninth ed So here's, here's what he's saying is it's going to be a brand new book. It won't be this book modified. It's going to be a whole new one. So how will people be able to find that book? Uh, I will tell you and you can tell everybody. Oh, <laughs> well, cool. They'll be for sale everywhere. But uh, possibly the end of this year, it may run into next year. So okay. I'm in the final draft, but it's just like writing and recording a song. There is no final version. Right. There's always something else right. that gets add added into it. and, you know, keep getting ideas. So this guy, I'm hoping at some point, I'm just going to say it's done. And then it goes into production and then into print. It'll be for sale here. Uh, and, you know, through all my uh, same distributors as Kerry Build Your Own Electric Guitar. But uh, I just look everywhere you would buy books. And it should be available. This would definitely be, again, because remember, if you watch my other episodes, one of the reasons why I'm personally building Cigar Boss guitars is because I literally went into the library one day and saw a book by Mike Orr, The Handmade Music factory guitar factory don't quote me on that i'll put it on screen in a little while but just through reading that book i got into cigar boxing and i've been a lifelong guitar tinkerer but what uh bill's talking about here is when you are building a guitar as you figured it out it's the sum total of like a, what seemed like a thousand different moves itty bitty little moves and what i think what he's suggesting here and also for your 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 resource library when his book comes out i believe it'll be an excellent resource because it sounds like he's going to go into more not just you need this pickup you need this pot how to wire this it's going to go into more why we do what we do and hopefully that'll open up more horizons so looking forward to it this box is unbelievable for this series for this episode 61 if you watch my other one over here it's braveheart it's bill foley braveheart i call it something else silly this will be part two, and what I'm going to try to do off camera now is pick out a lot of parts for this build and buy it here from Mr. Bill Foley. So if people want to send them to, to contact you and send you their cigar box guitars and do the same thing I did, is that possible? Is that cool? Yeah. Uh, through the store website, info at gvmh.com, like German Village Music House. German Village Music House. Dot com. Dot com. I'll put a link on it. I'll put a link on the screen. But yeah, do it. Call them up. Send them your box and do the same thing I did. Maybe you have a picture of your dearly bladed ma. <laughs> but no, or whatever. But this, I mean, if he can do this sort of detail right here, I'm really like blown away. A lot of people say I'm blown away because they're trying to be nice to somebody and they're not really blown away. But that's, that's called I'm blown away. Like, I was impressed by this guitar right here. These guys. This was an illustration out of an 1800s newspaper. I call this guy Old West. What? Was it from yeah. America, I guess? California. California? Yeah. Look at that. Look, 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 look at even like, like the eagle right here and the elephant. Day back to day life from the 1880s. It's like a little snapshot of time burned into the wood. This is incredible. There's just there's so much detail. So it's they could amazing. actually contact you if they're a guitar builder and send you a guitar and you could do the yeah, same thing? Yeah, all I need is a blank piece of wood. We can cut anything you want into it. Snake skin. Yep. This is fun. Every one we do different. We do them lighter and darker. You can see the this one I decided to do green. He's sold already. 
a dead amber, but uh, these guys, you see them in all kinds of colors sliding around. Oh, look at that headstock. That's guitar cat, the cat head headstock. So definitely check out, um, up here you can see a Bill Foley Fine Instruments. This is a little more outside of my range right here, but I am a guitar nerd. So that's Gary Peel, the lead guitar player in Boston. Oh, wow. He plays with Tom Scholes. Uh, his custom guitar has become his number one instrument. That's the main guitar Gary has been using. You want to hear this? He put out a uh, project, um, Fire and Grace with Alliance. It's a superstar group. And I believe my guitar was on just about every track on that. It sounds like Boston songs, like just new Tom Scholl's Boston songs. Uh -huh. But uh, you can hear a superstar put it through its paces. We have the step chamber, the intonated resonance system, the cat head. And this is really interesting. The uh, cat head, I dreamed this up actually in a dream. But when we put finish on Gary's headstock, a little cat appeared in the wood grain making that expression. His little ears are right up here. He's making that face. You see his mouth, his whiskers, all in the wood grain. And Gary got the guitar. He called me, he said, Bill, this is a Shroud of Turin neck. <laughs> and I said, Gary, I know a sign when I see one. Yeah. This is a sign we should make line art out of Guitar Cat. And just put him on everything. So we laser him into the headstocks and all that. I got Guitar Cat t-shirts. So uh, you can't see that in the poster too well, but he's right in there in the wood grain, this little cat. So that's incredible. That's so cool. You do know what the Shroud of Turn is, right? If you don't, go check it out. It's awesome. It's worth your investigation. Well, look over here. That really. Okay. This right here for me. See, he has the hole in the, in the guitar. That is the beat. This is an intonated resonance system. This is one of my proprietary features. You see in there, there are three concentric chambers, but they're intonated, so to speak. The proportion of those three chambers is the same proportion the fundamental fifth and major third occupy in every note, which is in real life, in wave function, one wavelength a third of a wavelength, and a fifth of a standing wave. So those three partials give you a resultant that has all even overtones. There are no damping features in that structure. So that's the most musical function you can have. Anything you play will resonate very beautifully with this. It's a maximum consonance. That's also the heart of the resonance or sustain equation. You had a little bit of push to this, blues level gain, the dominant harmonic feature, the notes producing, will resonate forever. You don't need a compressor, you don't need Armageddon gain. It just goes until you either damp the string or you shut the power off. Wow. So that's a fun feature. Because I, I was installing uh, sustainers in all my guitars to so do the exact same thing. Let me ask you this question here. Did, okay, we're gonna be here all day long. I love it. When I, what he's talking about here was a little bit technical for me, but I built a guitar, a cigar box guitar, and I looked up the old Spanish Baroque guitars where they were putting the sound holes and they were going down and down. And I did something like this in a completely ignorant level. And I didn't notice when I strung my guitar on a cigar box guitar, it was more resonant. And I was trying to figure out why is it resonant. And I was wondering if my sound hole, because I built that sound hole and it staggered in there, if it was like acting like a natural speaker almost. Sound waves, like sound. round features. Huh. They don't like angled features. Those are dissonant structures. So if you build your instrument in as many round proportions as you can, it will always be more musical. Okay. This chamber is also, the three chambers are rounded. So here's an idea. We just learned this right here on camera. When we go to build these cigar box guitars right here, see how we're all angled right here? What <laughs> Bill just inspired me to think about right now, let's check this out. What if from now on we go in here and we're building these, these boxes, what if we took little, somehow a little round 
maybe a piece of wood around here and around here. And just my point being is try to replace these angles in this box with a little bit more roundness inside of the box. Again, this isn't an acoustic guitar. We're not going for hardcore sound. But from what he's saying is, we are going for hardcore. We are core <laughs> but if we're trying to be the, um, go to the next level of cigar box building, and it'll be simple. We can just find simple things around the house and we can try it. I'll try it on this box actually too. Is just find ways, like maybe pieces of wood that you could actually like, maybe um, laminate. Like the insides of acoustic guitars. Oh, those things, right. Mm -hmm. And so just start sculpting those out. These are called acoustic guitar things. That's the technical term. <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? Is like just, what he's saying is, it's dissonant if, if it's all angled. So that's a note to self. That's a little inside tip today. Yeah, just round, very creative, any way you can round, put a little round feature here and round these guys down here. It'll be more pleasant sounding. Okay, we're at 13 minutes. I can be with hearing with him all day long. Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, Bill Foley, the world famous. My neighbor told me, I'm not sure this is true or not, that Joe Bombasa, Joe Bonamassa. Bonamassa Joe Bonamassa, he comes by here sometimes? Or? Mm -hmm. yep. Dude, Joe see what I'm saying? Great. Joe's an encyclopedia on guitar parts. Wonderful guy. Bill Foley, hit him up. Call him. Come up with ideas. I just had a bunch of ideas on camera. All right. Got to sign off here. Uh, dude. Huh, look at the sky as it's getting ready to storm. Look, German Village Music Haas. Bam! <laughs> it is lightning. I gotta get out of here. That is so sweet. I'm so hyped. Look, you. Look, he's got. It's like a candy land in there. If you're a guitar, if you're a cigar box guitar enthusiast. Like the general tells us, General Puckett, to be as precise, the legitimate president and vice president, the League of the Shinterasp. <laughs> no, the Bill's got everything in there. Hit him up. And his new book, I mean, he was just schooling me on some stuff in there, right, off camera. I mean, he's talking, I mean, that dude. <laughs> Physics, science. All right. Look at this. A minute ago, the thunder it crashed so hard, it made the ground shake. Okay. This was the best day ever. Did you dig it? The Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen is not necessarily looking for subscribers and for likes. Just glad you stopped by to say hi. Bro, you get the very first shot of this. Just for this nest. Look at that bone. Now the question is where I'm gonna put my bridge at. I got some goodies from my dude. I'm gonna get out of here, but I gotta get So he took this right here. This is the picture I gave him. Boom. And then um, I got some goodies in here, but I think the bridge I want to use for this. Like, I know you're busy, yo. You got these knobs right here, the blue knobs from JAT. Sinister. So maybe they're going to build them down here. And put this bridge like right there. Or I'm going to put it down here.